pretty pump, pretty pump. and today I'm going to make a welder cart for my new welder. I've done quite the upgrade here and I am freaking stoked. Quick run over, so if you've watched the channel, I've always been using a TIG welder that is basically from the bottom of the scale of quality. This is much higher quality. It's a Lincoln, it's got the great brand name and it's doing both, it's doing stick and TIG welding. I am freaking stoked. This welder reads really good. I've already tried it out, but I need to make a cart for it. I'm so excited, you have no idea. It's got a pedal, so you can control the amps with what we have your base on. It's amazing. And another huge upgrade I've got through this is now I can weld aluminum. So basically it's AC and DC TIG welding. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked here. I've been saving up for honestly two years for this. It was awesome. And I also had to find a buyer for my old TIG welder. But it did do the trick, but this is a huge upgrade. It's not scratch to start, it's got the pedals, it's got everything you need to make some serious welds. And now there's no excuse for the welder, because I was literally using a $300 welder and it was scratch to start. And I did pretty good welds with that. I welded my whole cage and all that. Everything was A1 for what I was using, but now, it's time to really improve some skills here. So the basic measurements I took for making this cart was the length, height, and width of the actual welder. And I've picked my desired height I wanted off the ground. I'm making this cart on wheels so I can wheel it around no problem. I'm also making a handle and spots to hold my wires like the TIG torch. So basically what I did was I measured the length, 19 inches, and the height, which is 12 inches. But I obviously want it to be off a lot lower than that. So I basically chose with the tape with how high I wanted it. So I needed two pieces at 19 by 12. So that is what it, the welder is actually gonna sit on. My first measurement was 19 by 12. So that's the length and width. So that is what the shelf is gonna be for the top where it's gonna sit. And then I'm going to have one underneath as well. I will show you it right now. And then I picked my desired height. I picked something that was easy to grab so I can still get to the knobs. So it's gonna be lower than what it is right now that I'm on a table that I've made for welding. And I'm basically ready to go. It's just basically one, two, three, four pieces. And then I've got the hooks that are going to hold my actual TIG torch. And that's basically just three inches, three inch by one inch pieces that are gonna make a U shape and that's gonna hold it. So I'm gonna get right into it. I've got all the steel cut. I basically cut, ordered everything pre-cut. I measured my welder and then got it all pre-cut at my local shop for steel. So I'm gonna get right into it. Basically gonna put it on the table, start tacking away and finally using this welder and having a sick time. To do this whole project, all I needed was the sheet metal and basically a 90 degree tool that will aid me in finding what is square. It's very important when making square boxes that they are actually square. So it'll actually help out in the long, long run so it'll actually roll nice and smooth. The more tax, the better, and it'll help prevent warpage. Now it's time for the outside on the other side. I'm gonna tack it in, fully weld it, and then I'm gonna make sure that the welder's actually gonna fit. Now it's time for the shelf. I'm just gonna tack it in first and then do a full weld. All right, here she is. She's very solid. I've got half of it tacked, half of it welded. I welded in here before, 
because I didn't want to have to weld the entire thing from the outside. I'm going to weld this from the outside, that from the outside, and then these from the inside. I might stick some of it, but we'll see. I might be running out of gas very shortly. So it's looking awesome. Just going to keep on trucking here. Pretty happy with it. So it's going to just sit in here, the welder, on an angle so it doesn't go forward. Sits nice back into this little cubby that fits perfectly. It's going to be sick. Just taking a peek at some of the welds, looking pretty sweet. I'm starting to run out of gas. Overall, looking pretty good for the first time I've used this welder. Never used a foot pedal in my life. Damn, definitely already way better of a weld job, so pretty happy with that. So as of now, the welder should just fit right in here. And then all I need to do is make a couple of things to hold my wand and put some wheels on. I found some wheels that we had laying around and they are all swivels, so all four swivels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld the rear ones straight and just rock it like that. Better than buying some other stuff probably. So I'm just going to rock these ones see how it works. Look at that. That is looking so sick. I haven't tried test fitting the welder yet, so I hope my measurements were right. But look at all that penetration, guys. This is such a sweet welder. And honestly, I just ran out of gas and I was starting to weld the bottom here. I welded all the bottoms and I made it to here. Then it started running like crap, as you can see. So I have this little bit to weld yet and then i've got to weld in my hooks and make a handle so i've got a few more things to do but that is definitely the gist of it i'm going to try my welder fitment right now one two three and there you have it lincoln is trapped in there she's literally so tight i can almost pick up the whole welder box so we're right in there and then i'm going to strap it in once i have it painted and everything is complete but for now that is sweet. I'm really liking that. And then I can store my helmet and random miscellaneous welding crap in there. This is nice. I didn't want to really use the welding machine until I made something like this because you're dragging around. You're dragging the cords. It's not good. You need something to hang it up and all that. So this is going to be sick. So all I got to do is weld the sides on. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can actually stick those because you don't need gas for stick. So I might just do that. Switch the polarity. Get some beads on this thing with just welding on a few hangers for my actual cords for the welder take torch. And now a handle for being able to drag the cart around the shop. Nice, I got some hooks here and a handle. I stick welded them both on, actually all three on. Not terrible weld, but I'm learning on the stick welding, that's for sure. But now all I gotta do is paint it. So I'm gonna do that, one, two, three, bam. And it's all painted, got her primed up. Basically all I gotta do is put the welder in or paint it black, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is all I had basically, but she's primed up, she's not gonna rust, and I'm ready to roll.
painted her up quick and that looks like something you'd buy in a store. I'm very proud of that actually. Welds turned out very mint. Very stellar turnout for sure. Nothing got grinded other than that weld and that weld because they were both stick welded and wasn't too too pretty so yeah. Pretty pumped, pretty pumped, pretty pumped. <laughs> Thank you.